I'm standing with Nick, the writer of Shapeshifter Comics, and the book that we're going to be discussing is Dawn of the Black Age. Pretty cool title. So Nick, tell me where you get this concept from. Well, uh, way back in about 2004, I was driving home from a hockey game that I was playing, and I had to pull the car over because I just had this image of a, a really embattled looking angel, but like a kick-ass kind of angel, uh, standing on top of a spire in a, in a world ravaged by war where nothing's left, kind of brooding and alone, you know, and it, it struck me uh, so powerfully that I wrote this short story. Uh, I was kind of influenced by movies like The Prophecy with Christopher Walken where the angels were portrayed more, you know, dark and fearsome. And, uh, yeah, and I wrote this short story about, um, it's the apocalypse, everything's dead, and these angels are wandering around. And I, even then I wasn't sure what their job would be, like, to kind of pick up the pieces for whatever gods there may or may not be. And uh, we expanded it um, with another writer whose name is Daniel Agatino. Um, he and I expanded the concept of it, and we wanted to adapt it to a more visual medium. So the graphic novel seemed like a good idea. Uh, we met Zach Stella. Uh, he's an aspiring artist who just graduated from uh, Boston Institute, Massachusetts Institute of Art in Boston. And we got together and adapted into this graphic novel. And it's basically, uh, it mixes some Christian mythology, some uh, the, like Greek pantheon kind of stuff, some paganism. We wanted to take little bits and pieces of, of human history and, yeah, and the, it exactly. We have some gods that are like African, some are uh, Greek, some are Middle Eastern, you know, like that kind of thing. So a multicultural uh, hero's world kind of thing. Yeah, something that maybe everybody could relate to a little bit, but it's it, the whole story takes place in pre-creation times before there's any humans. Why did you guys decide to paint the illustrations instead of draw or ink or say use technology? Uh, I actually did use technology. All the paintings that are in that book are done with Photoshop, which actually just allowed me to use the layers much that I would use this, you know, oil paint for a regular painting. Um, it's just really the way I'm comfortable working. Uh, and then it just ended up sort of working out because it ended up, you know, being different from a lot of the other comic books that are going to be on the shelf today. So I feel like it's going to be something that's a little bit more eye-catching in a way. So could you tell us where we could find this stuff for people like me who's very interested? All right, well, right now we have a MySpace account, which I realize is getting antiquated with the way everything's going. But uh, you can communicate with us through MySpace.com forward slash Shapeshifter Comics, one word. Uh, we're going to have a website up very shortly this week called uh, dawnoftheblackage.com and uh, both places are good you can reach us we have uh, you know I have a PayPal account we'll hook it up you know you could you know find out more information we are working on the sequel uh, unfortunately because um, I don't know how well if you can focus in but the can the uh, the artist has done everything in a sense that it looks like and it is every one of these pages is painted basically yeah. And it takes one person a really long time to do it, so that's the problem. But uh, it's also a, a beautiful solution. It also looks really good. And uh, we're doing it all ourselves. So we appreciate any support. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you so much for interviewing us. And this is Nerd Caliber signing off.